Hi everyone, Gavin McMaster here from Options Trading IQ and today we're going to be doing a little tutorial on the Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation and we're going to be looking specifically at their charting package and how you can set up your charts a little bit better than the default settings. Um, some people have a lot of problems with the Interactive Brokers platform, it's a little confusing, a little hard to get the hang of. So just wanted to run through a few quick things that I do that maybe might help you out. Okay, so here you see the kind of default setting that you're going to have when you first load your charts. First thing I really like to do is change it from a line graph to the daily bars. Just makes it look a little bit better, a little bit easier to understand. You can see the actual candles. And then we're looking at the SPY here, so I'll right click and add some volume as well. Now if I want to add any indicators, you click on this button up here and go add study and then you've got all your your common indicators here um, your MACD you could add in um, usually the default settings are, are fine you hit apply and OK so there's your MACD maybe you want to add stochastics or something like that as well and there you go so and then you can just get rid of e each one as you uh, as you see fit. So maybe you want to just leave stochastics. Then if you want to have a moving average, you can do the same again, or you can even just right click on the chart. It brings up the same headings. Uh, again, add study and exponential moving average. And here we'll just change our period from nine to say 50. There we go. And then maybe we'll add a 200 in there as well. There we go. So there you go, that's a little bit of a better looking chart. Some of these things you can actually change the colors around as well. If you want to do things like that, just right click on the actual line and just change the color. Maybe you want something a bit more pleasing, a bit easier on the eye. And then one thing I found quite annoying when I first started this was it took me a little while to realize that I could now save this as a default template. So you go up to File, Save Chart Template As. And then when you want to um, use this as a default, you can just go Open Chart Template, and then the one that you've just created, you can just tick that as Default. And there you go, so that'll be your default every time you log in and, and when you're changing stocks and things like that as well. Another thing you can do that you might be interested in, it did again take me a little while to find this, is you just right click on the chart. And for people who are interested in trading um, Fibonacci, Fibonacci lines, you just right click and add Fibonacci line and then you just draw them in. And there you go. And to remove them you just right click and remove all Fibonacci lines and just clean it up again. And I guess the other thing would be drawing trend lines. You'd basically just left click. You don't even need to select anything. So there's your trend lines. And again, you can change the thickness and, and change the color and things like that. So a few little things you can play around with there. Um, so we'll just get rid of those. So all in all, it's actually not a bad charting package. I didn't really like it when I first opened my account, but I've gotten used to it now, and uh, and I don't actually mind this setup, and I think it's actually pretty easy to look at. So actually, the other one thing that you can do that's quite handy is if you click this little padlock button, um, you'll be able to extend the chart in different directions. Otherwise, it won't let you do that. Um, and then you just click it again to bring it back to the default levels and you've also got a little slider down here that you can change the time period um, it only gives you a few default settings from the top screen from the top drop down box um, your two hour chart and, and your various minutes and your sort of weekly chart 30 minutes um, so this is quite handy the, uh, the, the slider that you can actually just extend your time periods a bit There we go. 
So yeah, you can move them along, or you can stretch them out, or you can you can look back in time and and zoom in on on a various uh, various events. So I hope you enjoyed that short tutorial, guys. If you've got any questions, you can always just email me info at optionstradingiq.com. And have an awesome day, and I'll talk to you soon.